For people going to Jerusalem, and particularly for those that are going for the first time, this moment is, must be a very exciting moment. Because Jerusalem is the holiest place in the world for the Jewish people. It's a city that was chosen by King David more than 3,000 years ago to be his capital. This is where the first temple stood, this is where the second temple stood, and this is where the third one will be with the coming of the Messiah. It's the city that every Jew wishes to visit, expressing his wish by saying next year in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the holiest place in the world for the Christians, the birthplace of Christianity, the cradle of religion. Here Jesus was crucified, here he was buried, here he resurrected, and from here he ascended to heaven, 40 days after the resurrection. Jerusalem is a holy city for the Muslims, second only in importance after Mecca and Medina. It is the place from where, according to their tradition, their Prophet Muhammad ascended in his vision through the seven levels of heaven so as to confer with God and other prophets. So as you see, Jerusalem is a holy city to all three major monotheistical religions, and it is a very special city. A city of mixtures, where we have people of every color, creed, religion, and belief. And even among the same religion, we have those that are ultra-ultra-Orthodox, alongside others absolutely non-practicing. It's an old city surrounded by walls and a new city that surrounds the old. A city that has history of 5,000 years, alongside history that was made just yesterday. And to make the city so much more special and unique, you will see that everything in the city is built on the outside with what is called the Stone of Jerusalem, a white limestone that comes from more than 250 quarries surrounding the city. And the reason why everything is built this way is because during the British mandate, the commissioner wanting to maintain a uniform style of building, he ordered a law saying that everybody has to build this way, a law that is still in effect even today, making Jerusalem one of the more beautiful cities in the world. And so, with all that I've told you, I'd like to welcome you into Jerusalem using the Psalm 122 that says, How I rejoiced when they told me, let us go up to the house of the Lord. Our feet were standing at thy gates, Jerusalem. So welcome to this timeless city.